So Congress is officially on its August recess, but lawmakers left town with a lot on their plate from health care to tax reform and immigration. So what's next when they come back to Capitol Hill? This is Alex Lossett. He joins us all to break it down. How are you? Good. Uh, we're looking for bipartisanship. We, we got maybe a glimmer of it. Tell, tell us what went down. Uh, so after health care uh, didn't move forward, they did need to do all of their funding stuff, mm -hmm. their appropriations and things like that. And we did see a bipartisan effort to get the FDA funding through uh, in what was pretty much a clean process. They had to make a deal with Senator Ron Johnson, uh, and he made that deal, and they passed through the FDA funding together. Uh, so it's a glimmer. So even something like FDA funding, there's some sort of partisan bickering that goes on or some dealing it, wheeling and dealing. There was because it's what they call a must pass. Mm -hmm. And when you have a must pass, uh, people are looking to put things on that <laughs> must course. pass. Of course. Uh, so what we saw there was that they, you know, they didn't do that. They kept it clean uh, so that it would get through, so that the FDA would be funded. So, you know, if there's more things like that happening, yeah. there's maybe a glimmer for some bipartisanship. But when you talk about the FDA and things like that, then we move on to uh, defense authorization mm -hmm. and, and, and other big ticket items that there is going to be uh, a healthy debate about. And uh, we were hoping maybe to see, well, I shouldn't say we were, but they were hoping to see something done. Uh, it didn't happen before, before the end of the session. So when they come back, what's the biggest item they're going to have to tackle? Uh, NDAA or yeah. defense authorization, which is basically what keeps the military funded. Uh, that's a big one, but the biggest one is actually the debt ceiling. Mm -hmm. So you have both, you have uh, the NDAA, you have the budget has to be done in some form, uh, and you have the debt ceiling. So those are th huge things to get done in a very short amount of time. Okay, and, and you know, the president has, uh, you know, he's been on, on Twitter, I don't know if you've heard this, uh, but he's uh, talked quite a bit about uh, the, the health care. He wants to see something done on health care, uh, and he goes from saying, let's, let's change the vote from 60 to 51. Well, he didn't get 51 votes to pass in the first place. So for people at home wondering, is there going to be any movement on health care moving forward? Is that even possible under the rules of, a, of the Senate? It's uh, vanishingly small possible. Yeah. The short answer is basically no. There's just not enough time. They technically have until the end of September with the budget reconciliation, mm -hmm. uh, but they have all of those other things they have to do. Uh, so we're looking at running out of time. Even now, it's going to be very difficult. Well, when you go back, we talk about bipartisanship. There are some lawmakers on both sides who it, it seems like they're saying, hey, let's, let's address a couple issues here that we can come back to the table because there's still that concern that the president, if he wants, he can cut off the, the, the insurance funding, which he, or the, the, the repayments of the insurance companies. Mm -hmm. He's threatened to do so much. That sort of uh, triggers the, the let Obamacare uh, fail uh, mantra that he's been saying. So, I mean, is that a possibility? Of the Democrats and Republicans working together on some pieces, I yeah. think that's, a, that's almost guaranteed they're going to do that. Um, the key is that if you look at what happened, they, they did the FDA uh, authorization, they got through a bunch of uh, nominees there. McConnell and Schumer are talking to each other, yeah. are working together in the Senate. Now, if that atmosphere is poisoned again, like mm -hmm. it was during the health care debate, and that's a high likelihood of happening. It's going to be very hard to accomplish anything. I want to ask you one thing before we go. We saw the president in West Virginia last night. Uh, the story that came out of that, the president teased big story that it was uh, uh, the governor, Jim Justice, switching to the Republican Party. In West Virginia now, you only have one statewide office holder who's a Democrat, who is Joe Manchin. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin up for election yes, next year. There was talk that maybe he might, the Republicans might entice him to flip before. He said last night he's staying as a Democrat. Do you think there's any movement on that? Uh, I think you should listen to him there. Uh, I don't think that there is much political reason for him to flip parties. Yeah. All right. Alex Lawson, good seeing you tonight. Thank you I said so normally much. we see him in the double boxes on uh, 5 to 6.30, so good to have you in here tonight. Thanks so much. Marina, back to you.